What is up everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome to Space Engineer Survival on Pertam. This is episode number 12. Uh, between last episode and this episode, I did do a tiny bit of off-camera work, not that much though. Uh, so I put these up because at the tail end of last episode, um, it turns out our power was like not like here. We had no power. Both of these were red and uh, I don't think I had any ships connected either. Basically, we were completely out of power. So I added these little temporary things right here because this episode we're going to try to put up another uh, another one of our power things and hopefully that'll help us out um, a little bit. Also, I noticed that uh, it turns out that when you add these modules for speed, it actually completely uh, completely increases the power usage of the device. So it's not that uh, crazy for the refineries. But it is extremely crazy for the assemblers that have two speed modules. Uh, they, they actually start like using two times, or actually three times I think, because you have assembler uh, and then two speed modules. They actually start using three times the power. Um, so we were just like pretty much maxing out our batteries here and uh, and that was not good. So off camera I added these little buttons, just very simple. All they do is turn on and off the modules or the assemblers altogether. So I can just turn them off. Suddenly we have no more speed modules active and we can just use these as normal assemblers and I can turn them back on and now we have the, uh, the uh, modules back active and we're using that uh, increased power usage if we want faster things. Uh, so I also have that for refineries. We can turn on and off the modules. That's them on and this is them off. In fact, I'll show you the, the power draw real quick. So look at them off. Let's go and take a look at the batteries. We'll see that the uh, the power output is 854 kilowatts and we're getting a 1.71 megawatt uh, input. So as long as our output is lower than our input, we will be good for recharge. Uh, but if I go and turn on these modules though, uh, I think they're on, let's see. We're now outputting 1.69 megawatts and we're only inputting 1.71. So you can imagine with these uh, running as as, uh, as high as they are, and also the assemblers going at full blast, we would be running out of power quite a bit. Um, so these are temporary until we out, until we put up the, uh, the little tower over there that we're going to put up. Um, the other thing I did off camera is I did a little bit of mining in our little uh, our little mining hole over there with the mini miner, and uh, we have a little bit of iron. It's actually still refining as we speak, so, um, yeah, hopefully that'll make it so that we don't have to do any more uh, crazy mining trips in this episode like we seem to always have to do in every episode. But um, let's start this episode off really easy. I want to finish this wall and we did build a couple of steel plates as well as some uh, some metal grids. So we're going to use those to finish up the wall. I'm going to turn these off and I'm actually going to tell it to make more steel plates and metal grids. Are these off as well? I'm going to turn these off as well. Boop. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, metal grids are out of the question at the current moment because we're out of nickel, but I can make some steel plates. So let me go ahead and make like uh, 8,000 steel plates. We have enough iron for it. Yeah, it's still going. We have 80,000 going. Uh, how much did I get actually? I did like two or three mining trips off camera so we would be like set for a little while. Uh, refinery. And I think every time I got like 60k or 40k or something. Yeah, we still have a little bit of iron refining but it's almost all done. Then we have stone as well. Um, hopefully going ahead of the cobalt. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's 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 hop in our uh, our welder that we built last episode and let's start welding up this wall. Hopefully we can get it all done. All right, we're just gonna take over all this stuff right here and all this stuff right here. And that should be good. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect here and, uh, and let's go on our little expedition. Not much of an expedition, we're just going right here <laughs> to hopefully finish up this wall. Actually, do I have enough stuff to build the, because I have more than just the uh, just the normal. Oh, I, I don't know if I did this off camera or at the tail end of last episode, but I also changed these out for this uh, this block instead of them being like a weird angle. So uh, that's, I think, a good change. Um, all right. Hey, there we go. Okay, we can get this up. Hopefully that will, uh, hopefully that will not make us crazy for uh, reaver attacks uh, because reaver attacks work off of a scale. So pretty much uh, if you're at a certain level of the scale of danger, threat level, then you, uh, you'll get a reaver attack, and if you're at a higher level, you'll get a, a stronger reaver attack, etc, etc. So, I actually did check our, our threat level last episode, and we were only at 200 something. So, that would be like not a, not a very strong reaver attack, I think. Um, or not reaver attack at all, but if we go a little bit higher, we better be prepared. What What is going on? That was some lag right there. I'm always scared when I, when I like see lag now, because I, I feel like something's spawning in. And we're gonna get attacked but I don't know. The other thing is the Reavers are supposedly at, uh, attracted to uh, antennas and beacons, and we currently don't have any of those as per our rules um, of this series. 
Of course, they're also visually attracted, so they can actually see you if they're uh, if they're close enough. Which means we're not completely safe. But uh, we will start adding antennas pretty soon. I don't know when I want to target that, but that is our goal for uh, um, for the for unlocking the GPS. We need to set up an antenna uh, sort of relay station thing. So we will have to do that eventually. Uh, let's see. This thing handles much better, but it's still not perfect. I think I would love to add maybe a couple more left and right thrusters. I don't know. I think we've run out of stuff. Um, yes, we have. We got a lot of it. Oh, we missed one right there, but we got a lot of it done and... Oh, I added these... I don't. I think I might have... That might have been one of the other things I did off camera is I just finished up adding these front things in the wall. Uh, that we forgot to add last episode so that we could just weld in this episode and call it a call it a wall <laughs> but uh, let's let's hook this back up and uh, see if we have enough materials to continue I don't think we do because we need nickel um, which in that case that'll bring us on to our next task that I wanted to do in this episode which is going to be making a miner a proper miner by the way um, the mini the mini miner was a proof of concept and the proof of concept actually worked uh, so this whole t this whole series, I've been thinking that it's impossible to make a ship because the gravity is 1.2 G's uh, and, and it would just be super inefficient, but it turns out that it's actually fine. It's not that big of a deal. It may be just a little bit harder. Uh, so we can totally make a miner. I haven't decided yet though. I don't know if I want to make a miner rover combo. One that would be like a rover where you drive out to the site, the rover would have a lot of, a lot of storage kind of like this, but then it would also have a, a connection point for a larger uh, miner, and then the miner would go and mine, come back to the rover, go and mine, come back to the rover, so that we could get this huge haul, and then the rover would bring it all back, or we just make a standard miner, um, like uh, like the old-fashioned days. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try to make the smallest efficient miner that I possibly can that actually still has some storage, not like the mini miner, and then we'll maybe attach it to a rover later. I don't know. Well, anyway, if we're making a uh, a, a uh, proper miner, I want to make a proper landing pad as well. It's one thing that we haven't had for a long time. So we're gonna do that right here, uh, in this general area. Let's, I wanna get even on this, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that should give me the perfect uh, place. And then I'll skip one and then go like this. And we'll bring it all the way out to here and all the way out to here. This will be our little landing pad. In fact, you know what? I'm actually going to skip two right here because I know we might bring like something up like that to get to the top of the wall. So I'm going to skip two there and I think I'm going to skip two here. Am I though? Do I want to? Hmm. Actually, here's what I do. I don't go even. Instead, I put the entrance to the landing pad all the way out here and then it will continue that way up to the wall almost. Uh, and then it will go, I already counted this one out, there's 15, so I'm going to go 7 blocks this way. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we will fill this in with the blocks. These are all light armor, so it should be fine. Uh, and this will leave room for another landing pad if we want to, right over here. And if we build this one, we might build it out of heavy armor blocks to support hydrogen ships. Even though we don't have a crazy amount of ice, it might be, uh, it might be a good thing to have at some point. A little hydrogen uh, capable landing pad. Typically those have to be a little harder because the hydrogen can actually, um, or the hydrogen thrust can actually destroy the landing pad. But uh, yeah, all right, let's let's uh, let's start welding this in. We're still using our standard welder. We do have the welding ship, but I don't think it's needed for a small project such as this. The, uh, the hand welder should do fine. Plus, of course, we have the power of editing to make things go really, really fast. See? All right, we now have a, uh, a nice little landing pad. Uh, let's make a connection for it because that's one thing that's going to be important. So where do we want to put it? Um, it would go pretty well on this side. In fact, it would even go really well on this side, I would say, because then we could put another one right here. So we can even add, have two connections on the same side. And then we could even have them over here as well to have like a larger landing pad to support more ships. Um, I don't know. All right, let's do uh, let's do it like this. We're gonna put one right here, and then we're gonna set up a a, uh, a possibility for one to exist right here, maybe. Let's see, right here. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. Hang on, uh, <laughs> I need to build this first. Okay, there we go. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me, by the way. This is actually a really good segue. Uh, oh, there's a super gremlin coming in. 
Um, there's, it's a really good segue to this point. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me why I like to use these blocks, the conveyor junctions, instead of the conveyor tubes when it comes to something like this, where I'm using a lot of conveyor junctions in a row. Um, now there have been reports that using stuff like this uh, will cause more lag on the server. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, conveyor junctions like so have six connection points. Um, you can see like this. They have six connection points. Any which way you turn them, you can connect them. It doesn't matter which. Whereas the, uh, the conveyor pieces like this only have two connection points. You can only connect them on the front or the back. And I can't actually turn them very well. Uh, but what that means is if I have a long thing like this and one of them breaks like so, that's gonna go down. Even if it's like this. Uh, let, me, let me try and set it up like this. Even if it's something like this, if I have a long sort of chain like that and something breaks down the line and then another thing breaks, Boom, that stuff falls just like that. But if I have the same thing with these, and then I have those those uh, blocks on the side, and both of those break, it stays on the grid. That makes things a lot easier to repair. So I like to use these in situations where structuralness is good. Uh, so here I don't really care. I don't care if they fall off, that's, that's easy. And that's not very likely to get shot. But over here, I don't really want my entire turret falling down and me having to replace that whole thing. So, you know, I just place them like that. Um, yeah, just a little, uh, just a little explanation as to why I do that. Makes things a little bit easier in the event of an attack. Alright, where was I going to place this now? I think right here? One, two, three. Yeah, I was going to place it right there. Alright. Conveyor. I doubt we'll have enough to place the other one. But, that allows us to get more stuff because we will need it. Uh, Super Gremlin, I don't think you're getting close enough for, for you to be a worry. When that other one attacked us, I think we got extremely unlucky. Or lucky to get that little bit of combat, if, if that's what we're looking for. Which I think it, it, it is what we're looking for. A little bit of combat's always nice. A lot of combat is a little scary, but a little bit is always friendly. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm just going to use these, just so we have that structure. Uh, in case I ever want to do anything else, uh, change anything about this setup that I have. It will be really easy with this connecting to the grids. Uh, and then I'll use the these guys. Uh, we will do this. We'll go up one and then over one. And we'll do the same thing here, up one and then over one. And now we have two connections for stuff. All right, easy peasy. Uh, let's add this connector on. Connector on. I don't have the stuff required, but I can easily get it with the, the help of Build Planner using middle mouse button. It said it failed to withdraw something. I don't know if that's true, because it's always a bit weird how it withdraws stuff, but uh, it indeed did fail to withdraw things, but not what it said it failed to withdraw. <laughs> it failed to withdraw the uh, the computers. I'll just go ahead and, and run that uh, back once. Alright, they're both built. Uh, now we can put ships here. That's not actually that much space. I might move this one down one. Just to give me more sp Wait, how much? Yeah. I've only given you guys a one block clearance. I'm not really sure I like that. Whatever. For now it's fine. Uh, what I want to do now is build the little miner. So, uh, I don't I don't have a, I don't have a picture in my mind of how I want to build this. So we're just going to kind of start and uh, and hope it goes somewhere. So let's, uh, let's get this thing going. Um first build up the blocks and then uh, we're gonna go one two and then we're gonna go so it's gonna be about that wide uh, with the with the drills on the side of course um, do we go one two three four if we want mega storage one two three four all right we do that because why not um, and then we're gonna go with a cockpit of sorts if I can find one here's one what does this have? This has a connector on the bottom. Hmm. All right, alternatively, alternatively, hear me out now. What if we put this here, like so? <laughs> this is dumb. Uh, what if we put it here and then connect all the stuff on the front? So we have three. Oh, this is so dumb. Uh, and then we'll even put this back here. Okay, so that on the back. Um, let me actually weld up these uh, these medium cargo containers, and I will uh, 
oops, I don't, I don't want to put that there. And then, uh, and then we'll see what it looks like, because I want to make sure I have the connections in spot. Alright, so for our dumb ship, we have something like this, and then we just need to add some sort of... Uh, okay, so you, in fact, I'm going to put you on the side for the reason of I can actually now access that thing right there and bring it out to the front, which is where our drills are going to be. So, you... And I'm going to do the same thing, I think. I'm going to use these blocks down here, just so they act as glue between this. Otherwise, they wouldn't if I were using the uh, these guys right there. They would not... See, they don't connect on the, on the sides, whereas these ones right here do connect on the sides, so... Uh, they actually add to the structuralness of the ship. Um, on this one, I don't really care. I'm just going to bring it down like that. And then, let's see. I want to put my drills right on the front. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it like that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it just like that, and then we're going to put the drills right on the front, just like normal. All right, this drill is going to fit right there, and this drill is going to fit right there. We're going to have two drills on this ship, and I don't think we're going to we're going to aim not to go any higher than this, so the drills don't have to uh, work over time, right, so we don't have to do anything crazy. It appears that I've forgotten one crucial component, and that would be the battery. Um, I can always stick a battery right on the back, though I think, and that would probably work fine. How could this design be better? How many up thrusters would I need? Presumably a lot. All right, I'll be the first to admit that this is the weirdest miner I've ever made. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I think it might work. Um, okay, so a lot of critique. Let's let's see. Let's let's predict the critique. I think some of you might be saying that, uh, that I'm using a lot of small thrusters instead of a large thruster. Um, in this particular ship, I guess that's just for the profile. A large thruster would have to take up significantly more space. Uh, let's see. What else could... What else could be critiqued? Um... Maybe not enough forward thrust. That's a possibility. I only have four th forward thrusters. I just need to be a little careful with this miner, I think. Um, but it should work. I don't know. It should work. It's not the usual miner that I make or, or that I that I would often make in the old survival series. Um, that one is kind of a generic like five drill miner with a bunch of thrusts and stuff. But I think this one will probably do fine for us. Uh, let's go ahead and weld up everything and see if it will. <laughs> let's see if it actually works. All right, and here is our ship with everything welded. Uh, I think I might add some blocks in here just to. Uh, well, we need we need the blocks though, if we want to add them. But I'll add some blocks in here just for structural reasons, so that if something breaks for some reason, those don't crumble and fall. Um, and then I might also add some blocks on the edge right here for structural reasons, blocking that stuff from getting destroyed. And I might do the same on this side right here. Uh, I do actually have plenty of room. I can actually probably remove this. Yep. I do actually have plenty of room where I can uh, uh, add more thrusters, I think. So especially on this side right here, I can just throw a bunch of thrusters if I need to, uh, and then this side as well. But let's uh, let's take it out for a little spin, see how it flies. Uh, okay, gyros are pretty good. It definitely flies up and it definitely doesn't fall down. Maybe too much gyro if I had to, if I had to uh, say something about that. Uh, block tools, let's throw this down here so that we can use our drill. There we go. Um, let's throw our batteries together and and name them uh, minor batteries. All right, minor batteries on nine, toggle recharge on and off, and of course, minor connector on eight, we will uh, switch lock. Uh, all right, so now that this thing is working, I think we have enough juice. Well, we pro, okay, let's, let's, let's let it recharge a little bit. <laughs> I don't wanna like, because what I want to do is I want to go and get gold, because we need gold for the uh, the yield modules on the uh, refinery. So I don't really want to chance it, because gold's kind of far away. Uh, so let's go let's just go ahead and connect, and we'll, we'll give it a little bit, and then we'll go out and get some gold. So switch lock, and recharge. All right. Um, this is definitely not the most optimal miner I could make. It definitely has some room to uh, for improvement, I would say. Um, but it's the miner we've made so far. And it's, uh, I don't know, I think it'll probably, uh, it'll probably be fine. It'll probably uh, help us get a lot of materials very quickly. I don't know if it'll be able to hold itself up, though. That we'll have to test out. Okay, I seriously doubt our miner's ability to keep us in the air, so I'm actually going to add on three more thrusters to each side, uh, just to keep us going. Because 
I, I looked at the mini miner and saw how much storage it could hold versus this, and I see I think we have too much storage for the amount of thrusters that we have. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more thrusters, a couple more thrusters, um, and I'll have to take this into account for my next miner build. All right, that should be able to hold it up at least a little bit more, so we can get more uh, materials. We just need to be careful when we're aiming forward because I don't know how well it will actually uh, keep us if we're aiming down like that. All right, while we're letting this thing charge, let's go ahead and build our third power tower. Um, we're, we're just gonna need a lot of steel plates for this, I think. Uh, let's, we have 117, let's get a couple more and let's get some interior plates as well, just so we can build up the uh, the other thing, um, the, the top things. And we also need this thing that we apparently left in here. There we go, thank you very much. All right, third power tower, we're gonna do the same thing. I don't know how far we wanna go, but actually let's go the same distance if we can. Just so it's even. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is how far we went on that side. So let's see if we can do it on this side as well. So we cut this one out and then we went 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, and it, it's kind of, the terrain's kind of going very down. But uh, let's go one, two, th three. And I make a, a one of those little pedestal for it. And again, we'll eventually, actually, we'll probably do that in this episode. We'll cut that, cut that line and make it underground uh, instead. And let's add the sides of this thing as well. I don't know how well that's going to look, but there we go. Okay, so we went one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we did something like this. Uh, where's the block? This one. Uh, like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six out. Like so. So we'll just repeat that on all sides. Get a little bit of lag. Hopefully that doesn't mean a reaver is spawning in to come and destroy us. Make me paranoid. <laughs> this dang mod pack. Alright, we'll just go to the six for now, and then we'll just do this on all sides. A third power tower. These don't provide as much power as I wish they would. But, um... But, I mean, four, four things is pretty good. We currently have six up there, so it's not going to provide us as much power as those do. And I know I said those are temporary. I might keep them for a little bit. I don't know. Um, okay, so this. Let's go out on each side. Having a little trio of these power things is going to be pretty nice. Alright, so from here we go one... And then over, whoops, I flipped over, two, three, and then, no, wait, one, two, three, and then this is the last one, right here. Um, Alright, yeah, repeat on all sides. Okay, after repeating on all sides, time to add the sides. Also, that ship is very close. With the sides added, it's time to add the circle. Next step is to add the wind turbines, and there's a lightning storm coming. Of course, it would not be a good, uh, it would not be a power station if we didn't have a lightning storm during its creation, would it? All right, finally, we weld up all the blocks. I think now's a good time to mention that I'm slightly afraid of lightning in real life. <laughs> so this is not an amazing time. I'll admit that. Lightning is scary. Ow. Lightning is still scary. <laughs> Even though it didn't kill me, it tried. Ow. I've been struck twice! And I'm not dead! How? How can this be? I suddenly have a, uh, a resistance to lightning. Last step. Welding up the uh, wind turbine so we can get some nice power going. And I, honestly, I think this tower is a little bit low for my taste. I would rather have it a little bit higher, but it's fine. It's a little bit low compared to that one. It's honestly, it looks very similar to that one, but this side right here is specifically a little bit low because of the hill kind of contours upward. Is contour the right word? It, it goes upward and as a result, bam. Uh, I do have a little bit of steel plate so I can actually weld these. All right, finally, we just need to add the beacon and then we'll be good. Actually, we'll need to do a lighting pass. So stand by. All right, third tower is up and running and is operational. Let's really quickly run through and remove this so that we can have a nice uh, top thing without without any uh, connection. So let's uh, let's go ahead and remove that. Do 
Do I have any? Yeah, okay. We have our little line in here. And we're going to go mining. All right, so if I remember correctly, this actually goes to the front of it. So we can actually mine on this side right here. And we'll have to mine 20 blocks, probably, ish. Man, mining underground is a little bit harder than I thought, not gonna lie. 14, <laughs> it's really hard to stay in a straight line. I feel like I'm in a commercial. Do you have trouble staying in a straight line when you're mining underground? Well now, with the mine straighter thingy, you can do it easily. For five payments of $9.99 and shipping and handling costs, you can be a straight miner. Wait. All right, the connection is made. Now this hole right here can be hidden because we don't need it anymore. Boom. Sweet. Okay, now this one is now connected, which means we can remove this. Make it look a lot prettier. And now we just need to do the other side. Uh, and in fact, that right there can go back to this. Being its rightful little light armor slope. All right, let's uh, let's get this other side done as well, and then hopefully it'll be nighttime by the time we finish with that. Wait, no, hopefully it won't be night. Oh shoot! All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change real quick. We need to go get our gold, uh, and we're going to wait real quick. I need to add a uh, a light to the front of that thing, so that we know where we're going. We're gonna do a quick gold expedition. I think we'll be able to go and get back in time, and I'll just carry the stuff for the other spotlight. Uh, okay, so recharge off, disconnect. And let's go. All right, we're looking for a little bit of... Okay, it looks like we're actually using all of our thrust as well. If we uh, try to thrust upward, which is not great. But we're looking for some gold, and I know exactly where it is. So this should be a pretty quick expedition. It's wherever our tea is, because I think we had gold and silver there. Uh, although, now that I say it, I'm not entirely sure. But I think we had gold and silver in the same spot. Wait, this isn't our tea, is it? Have I gone to the wrong one? Oh no, this is! The lightning just struck our T. Oh, rip. Okay, let's uh, let's check. I'm just gonna go straight down. Oh, I don't wanna go straight. Well, I, I will. I think we have gold under here somewhere. I hope we do. Otherwise, uh, I don't know where to get gold. Yeah, I'm not seeing any gold. Well, that is uh, that is slightly unfortunate. All right, let's let's back out real quick. I want to see if maybe I can find some gold at one of the other spots. We got silicon right here. This is cobalt. All right, that's kind of unfortunate. We don't have any gold near us. I thought we had some uh, over by that silver, but apparently not. We are goldless. So let's head back toward the base. We can luckily see it from here. And hopefully those lights will allow us to see it as well. Uh, we have some, some stuff along the way. And I know there's nickel along the way as well. So we're going to try and get some of that. Because we do need some at our base. Uh, this is just iron. Oh, look at the base. She's so beautiful. You can't really see it there. Ooh, careful. She's so beautiful with all those lights. Alright, we have some nickel down over there. That's, that's where our normal nickel is, so let's head that way. Oh man, I wanted to get some gold in this episode so we can get that yield module going, but... Like, I thought we had found it, but uh, I guess not. I thought it was over by that, that silver. But alas, without gold, what are we to do? Other than be goldless people. I don't have any rock ejectors, so... Uh, We'll have to make do with what we get, I guess. Let's see how fast we can fill this thing up. Our uh, our mini miner could store, I believe, a hundred and something uh, thousand kilograms. A hundred and fifty-six thousand kilograms, I think. So this thing should be able to store maybe three hundred to four hundred. All right, let's check how much we have. I think we're probably good for now. Uh, we have 69,000 giggity. Uh, nickel, we have 65,000 uh, nickel as well. We have 42,000 nickel. I think we're good on nickel. I think we're good with that. It's not a full load of what this thing could carry, but it's decent. Oh man, it's actually having trouble with its left-right movement, but let's see if... I don't know if we'll be actually able to go up like this. Oh, we are. That ship is shockingly close, which is what scares me because... 
If it gets within like a thousand, or uh, one kilometer rather, it will be able to shoot at me. But, yeah, it's already, okay, it's already going past, so we should be good. All right, so this thing could actually comfortably hold uh, 266,000 kilograms. Not bad. Connect, recharge mode on. I don't know if we want to keep that. Critical. Our fuel is out, so we need to uh, go and recharge. Starting with this one. Hey, our batteries are doing pretty well. It looks like they are fully depleted now, probably because this is eating it. But, uh, yeah. So as far as the refineries go, let's start with the nickel, and then the stone, and then the cobalt. Well, we'll go stone, nickel, cobalt for this one. We'll go nickel, stone, cobalt for that one. The cobalt still takes an absurdly long time to, to, uh, to refine. Nickel, stone, cobalt, and we'll go stone, nickel, cobalt for that one. It really does. Look how fast the stone refines, and then look... I mean, we got this cobalt, like, what, episodes ago? It was a long time ago. Um, all right. How do these look? Oh, beautiful as ever. Oh, wait. We never did that. Why did we not do that one? Oh, because it was getting nighttime. That's why. All right. Real quick, let's do that one. Um, I'm going to do this really quickly because you, you already saw me do the other one. So, uh, super fast mode. Let's go. All right, the underground connection is made right under there. So we can now remove that and then remove this. And this. And then add one of these probably. Uh, this right there. Yeah. All right, let's get rid of this thing and see how, see how she looks. And of course we can replace you into a light armor slope. All right, let's see. Well, you can't really see the connections at the bottom, but I think it looks pretty good. Nice and clean. No no connections, but they're all still connected. Let me make sure they're all still connected real quick. I'll be able to uh, to see if they are by going here and looking at the wind turbine. Uh, okay, I see A, I see B. I never changed C, but uh, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, okay, they're all here. All right, we now have all of our wind turbines named A, B, and C. Sweet. There she is. All blinking at slightly different rates, which is by design. Uh, okay, let's real quick throw a bunch of lights on the front of this, and then we'll do a quick mission to uh, hopefully finish this up. In fact, I should have enough nickel now. Let me real quick uh, set it to make a bunch of stuff as well. Um, production. I would like you to make like 2,000 of those should be fine. And we should now have the nickel to do it. It requires 3,000 nickel. We have uh, almost that, and the rest is still refining. All right, wall lights. How are we going to do this? I think we're going to have a line of wall lights at the top. Let's start with that. That's easy. Well, let's do the towers first. Towers will be easiest. Okay, so tower at the top will have a light like that. We'll do skip one. How about that? Skip one and skip one. And we'll just do this for all the towers. So top, skip one. This one, skip one, this one, and skip one, and then this one right here. And then finally this guy over here. That, skip one, that, skip one, that, and we won't do one right there. Alright, let's weld these up and then we'll get them, uh... Surely then- oh, you're talking about- okay. <laughs> it's like metal grids, I'm like, no. Lights don't require metal grids. It's crazy talk. Oh, lag! It means a reaver spawning in somewhere. Maybe. All right, our north wall tower lights. A storm has started in the background, but I think it's a good kind of storm. Uh, we're gonna bump up the radius. We're gonna bump up the offset just a little bit as well, because I want them to be mostly projecting forward. Uh, keep the radius. May 14.0 intense. What the heck? <laughs> I just moved. I don't know what that was about. Uh, we'll bump up the intensity, I guess. Yeah, that's probably fine. Alright, so we now have lights on each of the towers that will project outwards. We need to add lights on the wall as well now. So this is our north wall because... Yeah, lightning. Lightning is happening. I'm a little scared. Let me go and recharge my stuff and also run. Because <laughs> lightning is going to kill me. Yeah, so I believe this is the good type of storm because our wind turbines are probably optimal. Yeah, oh man. Oh, they are getting a lot of power. 
This should be recharging. Yeah, fully recharged in uh, in X amount of time. Man, who am I kidding? I'm not afraid of no lightning storm. Okay, for our wall lights, I think we're going to do something like this. One. Wait, how many can we put? Alright, let's just do this. One, skip one. 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 Ow! Skip one! And skip one. Well, that doesn't actually line up very well. Let me go repair. It seems like the lightning can't kill me anymore. It can only bring me down to 20 HP. Ah! That's the second time I've been struck! That's the fourth time I've been struck in this episode! What the heck, lightning? You're, you're up in your game a little bit. You're more strong than the Reavers right now, I think. Which, not to summon a Reaver by saying that, hopefully. But it has done more damage. And it's actually killed one of my lights. Did it... I think it struck me and also damaged all this stuff. Alright, I have an idea for the wall, but hear me out. It's going to be... These lights right here are going to... I don't know. It, it, it's going to be cool. Just give me a second. Okay, apparently we have a Christmas wall now. Uh, what do you guys think? Yay? Nay? Uh, I think it's decent. Maybe we turn those back to white lights and see what happens. I really like the green light sort of thing on the on the uh, side, but I don't, I'm not sure about the tower lights now. North wall, tower lights, bring them back to white. Yeah, maybe we keep it white and green. I think that looks pretty decent. Um, I don't know if we want to add one for the the uh, for the lower side as well, but let's turn our light back on so we can see. Yeah. I want some way to be able to see the bottom of this though, I don't know exactly how we would do that. Unless we have just lights on the bottom that have a very large radius maybe? At a lower intensity? I don't know, I think at the very least we can now see the wall, which is pretty much what we wanted. Uh, so that we're not running into it or anything. <laughs> so it's not this super dark thing. Um, Alright, let's see about finishing up the, the wall as well. So let's go into I, uh, we want to go to storage one. And we want to go to uh, Welder Cargo. Okay, so Storage 1 now has a bunch of these things. Let's throw those in there. And it has a bunch of these things. Let's throw those in there. I want to make more. Also. So let's make more. Turn it off, recharge, unconnect. And let's go. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to finish the wall in this pass. Uh, we'll, we'll work mostly on the front side here. See if we can do it. Alright, let's start with this block that we missed earlier. Click, click. I wish I could add like lights to these so I could see where they're aiming, like little spotlights. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder if there's a mod that adds guns that have spotlights on them. Or laser beams, <laughs> I don't know. All right, running along the top side here. We should be able to get all of them. It's going pretty well. Nope, we should not be- oh, okay, I was just far away. <laughs> I thought we ran out already. Alright. Last little bit here. And there we go. Uh, I want to work on this side first, see if I can get these. I don't know if we can get the beacon up and running. I don't know if we have the uh, required materials for that. But we certainly have the required materials for these things. Oh man, we might be able to complete our wall here. It <laughs> seemed like it was never going to be completed. Uh, okay, last last little bit right here. Of the outside, rather. They're, they're still inside stuff we have to do. The beacon I can complete by hand. I'm not worried about that. Alright, here's these ones. There's six... Seven, eight, nine. There were nine. Uh, oh, there were more. I didn't actually see these. We might not be able to complete these ones. Or? Maybe? Come on, there's just two more! You can do it! Yes! <laughs> Alright, that's a wall! That is a wall, my friends. Let's let's run around to the front and you can actually see it. That oh, That's almost a wall. Let's finish this block real quick. 
as well. Now that is a wall. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Strong. If they, if they try to shoot at this top part right here, which is more likely, I, I would imagine, uh, they're, gonna, they're just gonna get... They're just gonna hit heavy armor. If they try to shoot these, more heavy armor. And if they try to shoot these, light armor, but behind it, a little bit of heavy armor. So it's it's a it's a pretty strong wall. We still need to complete the other one, but I might do that off camera. Uh, just because it's probably gonna require me to make more stuff and run around in this thing again. But uh yeah, we have a wall. Alright, the last thing I want to do in this episode is I want to make a little shooting area. So this is something I said would be a cool thing to have, but I think right Wait, right here? That's where the lights are. Hmm. I think having a nice little shooting area at this height right here would be pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a block down here. Like that. And then I'm going to find where the, uh, where the lights are not. And I'm going to break through. Like this. And then this will be like a shooting area. So basically, if anything's attacking from that side, now I want to come and shoot. I can come over here and like shoot a gun at it or something and be relatively safe. Uh, it won't be terribly safe, but I'll, I'll at least be able to shoot decently. I'll put like a little blocker right there. Uh, so I'm going to do the same right here. Break that block. And then can I break this one over here as well? Um, no, I don't want to break this one right there because there's a heavy armor block behind that. But perhaps this one right here and this one right here. And we'll do this one right as well. Alright, so now we have little, three little shooting areas. So we can come over here, this will be a little defensible area. Let me get the uh, the new blocks. So with the Warfare 1 they added some blocks that I can use. They added these fire covers and these half windows. Um, what does this include? That's just the windows. What I want though... Embrasure? What's an embrasure? I have no clue what this is. Uh, oh, it's a little station. Wait, how do you get in it? <laughs> uh, I'm going to build one of these real quick. Um, let me grab embrasure re uh, requirements. Uh, okay, this is an embrasure. How, how does it work? Or did I build it wrong? I mean, like, I, I get that you can be inside it and shoot things, but, like, how do you... Can you open the sides or something? Oh, wait! Can we shoot out of this? Where's our gun? Uh, this one. Oh, there you go. You can actually shoot out of that. That's not bad. Little embrasure. We wouldn't be able to fire rockets out of there, but we don't even have rockets, so maybe this is what we want. Alright, here, here's what we'll do. Let's add... Two embrasures, since we have them. We'll add two embrasures, one right there and one right here. And then right here, we will add a lighter armor thing. So a, one of these little walls, a little fire cover. So if we ever want to fire an RPG, we'd fire it right from here at them. And if we ever want to fire a gun, we would use the embrasures. I think I'm going to add something else as well. I think I'm going to add these as little, um, little protections. So these are light armor, so they're not very strong. So if they shoot through that, We'll still at least have these heavy armor half block covers. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna run the same thing right over here. So we'll have the uh, the entrance right here, or we'll have one of those uh, one of these things. Then we'll have the uh, another entrance right here, where we have the uh, easier shooting one, and then we'll have the final entrance, which will be right here, where we'll have the uh, the harder shooting one again. So one of these right there, and then one of these embrasures. <laughs> which is a new word I've learned today, right here. And then, uh, of course, we'll, we'll put the uh, the protection here as well. All right, let's uh, weld them up. Oh man, look at this. So you never know where we're gonna peek out. You have like a bunch of different options right here of where you can peek out. I don't know, I'm probably not gonna continue it on that side, probably just on this stretch of the wall, but maybe we'll continue it right here if we can. All right, the final touch that we're going to add to this place is just a little armory right there. A nice little weapons locker where we can probably keep some ammo. Like I could, I could throw my uh, my weapons in there. Can it store? No, it can only store ammo. Okay, so whenever we make little ammo or uh, other weapons, we'll store it in right there. And uh, and yeah, we have a lot of shooting areas now. So if we go to the other side and check it out, it looks a bit odd, but pretty much you never know where I'm going to be shooting from. Um, these would be the easiest ones. These, I think, 
I don't know how, like, usually the automated turrets are actually really accurate at shooting you, but I don't know. Maybe they will have a, a hard time shooting you through one of these things. I don't know. But I think it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty, uh, pretty defensible, if I may say so myself. Um, all right, the last thing I'm, I want to do here is add some uh, some windows here, add some half windows, because I want to separate the um, the hangar from this area. So I'm going to add some half windows on this side right here. I'm just going to continue a half window all this way, so that it doesn't get confused with the hangar. There we go. Just something like that, and we'll do the same on this side right here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to build up all these. Uh, requires girders. We don't have enough, apparently. Girders and bulletproof glass is all we need. All right, our power is running out, but we need to finish this. Let's get these welded. I, th I think I can get all of them with all the girders I have. 11 power, we're, we're racing against the clock. All right, there we go. Are these double-sided? Oh, okay. They're, they're. I don't know. I might turn these around. No, I think it's. I think it's fine. Um. All right, there we go. That is our our wall. It's looking pretty good. I might add a stairs here to get up top, like I was saying earlier. But uh, we now have defensible positions, and we now have a finished wall that we can uh, that we can hopefully rely on. Um. That's gonna be the end of this episode. We built this nice tower over there to give us some. We built a tower to give us power. We uh, finished up this wall and we built a new miner that uh, unfortunately was not able to collect any gold, but was able to collect a lot of nickel. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any comments, please leave those down in the comment section below. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you dislike it, feel free to hit that dislike button as well. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.